right so I know it's been a while I know I'm so sorry I have kind of abandoned YouTube for about a year now but I'm back <laughs> and hopefully better than ever I feel like I definitely know which way my career is going now and I've got some exciting things happening or about to happen in the future so I'm in a good mood all the time <laughs> I'm in a really good place I've just bought a house I have a boyfriend I've just but I was working on that now to get my filming room set up, which I feel like I've been waiting forever to have a filming room. I've just been making do, which has been fine, and I'm not using it as an excuse, but this is just the start, guys, because I'm going to have a filming room now. So it's super exciting. There's loads going on in my life. Finally getting somewhere. So I'm back. I'm back on YouTube. And I thought a good little reintroductory. I can't say that. A good way to get me back on YouTube and to give you some content which I know you want because a lot of people ask me this all the time. My essentials, my favourite products as a makeup artist, as a freelance makeup artist, as a working makeup artist and also as a content creator. So basically my go-to products which I can't live without and that I repurchase time and time again. I get a lot of messages on Instagram mainly asking me about favourite foundations so I've got a lot of different foundations to talk to you about why and what I would use them for and like what kind of skin types etc that I do use them for so buckle up get a brew and if you want to see my favourite kit essentials of life then keep on watching so I've just got stuff everywhere I'm going to talk to you about wipes so you're probably thinking a face wipe, a face wipe, but it's not. If you follow me on Instagram, you'll know that my, one of my favourite brands ever is Aveeno. I've recently bought these baby Aveeno wipes for my kit and to use on myself, and I just think they're really good. You get loads in here, you get 72 wipes, and they're always on offer. I just thought I'll mention that. I always talk about these, preferably the ones in the purple packet, but they weren't in stock. Uh, due to the pandemic. Johnson's face wipes are the one. These are amazing. Super wet, super juicy. You can scoop your eye makeup off and do 12 different eye makeup looks per day like I do. I'm number three today, so judge. Oh my god, my eyelash is probably not on, is it? Never is. These are a winner, in my opinion. I'll go through these I like gold dust. But if somebody uses this and then just chucks it and doesn't use every square inch of this in front of me, I'm livid because these are precious to me. <laughs> Face wipes, 101. I've got some palettes here. Should have really cleaned these before this video, but I'm being real with you. I'm sick of like giving myself excuses not to film, so I'm, I'm literally, this is me. <laughs> so my palettes are dirty, don't judge. So I've got mainly eyeshadow palettes here, but some skin ones too. Obviously, me, myself, and my, my, my Mitchell palette is up there with one of my favourite palettes ever. The packaging, the actual eyeshadows themselves, I'm actually not gonna show you in You know what, sorry, I'm gonna buy another one of these because it's absolutely butchered, but in my opinion, that's a good thing. I use it all the time. So all my looks that I've been doing recently, all the colourful things, I've used this. So go and check them out as well. I'll leave my Instagram down below. Close second, if not a joint first actually, is the Carnival XL palette from Stacey Marie and Be Perfect. So this is another, this is like a ride or die. This is the second edition, so the first one obviously was smaller. If you didn't know that, it was. <laughs> I feel like everyone's got it though. This XL one just has a few more colours in it. Obviously my kind of vibe, but also loads of neutral ones too. Because I did kind of go down the neutral path for a while and now I'm back to the colourful side. Now that we've got nowhere to go, we can just get creative on our eyeballs. And obviously you've got your highlights in there too, let's just add that in. This is a fail safe, can't go wrong. Stacey, I love you. The next palettes are smaller, so these are a little bit better, you know, if you're, like, you're travelling or for your own personal makeup bag. The first one, in fact they're both Too Faced, what am I on about? Love Too Faced products. If you don't know that, welcome, I'm Lucy and I'm obsessed with Too Faced, love it. Because they smell like food. <laughs> And I'm a massive foodie. This is the Too Faced Gingerbread, Gingerbread Extra Spicy Palette. It's really super neutral and I use this a lot on clients. Love it. They're so buttery, they blend. The good palette, that one. 
might be a limited edition there, but I'll check. I'll link it down below if it is still available. And then we have this one. So this is the Too Faced Born This Way, the Natural Nudes palette. So this is actually based on the complexion products that Too Faced do, which again, I'm obsessed with. I love the foundation. It's one of my favorite foundations ever for a full coverage vibe. But this is gorge. So I've used these on my skin as well for bronzer before. So, so nice. While we're on the topic of eyes, I've got some lashes here. So really on my clients, I'll use Doll Beauty or Tatty Lashes. Sometimes I use like Ardell Wispies for like a bridal party or if somebody wants something more natural. I'm lucky that I do get sent quite a few different brands of lashes. I like to try these on myself, obviously. <laughs> but I also like to try these on my clients. I have a huge box of lashes in my studio at my mum's and I'll just throw them in there, try them out, but mainly I'll use these. But I do like to try new styles here and there. A few favourites, I've spoke about this before, I don't know if it was on Instagram or here on YouTube back in the day. I'm just going to reel off some of my favourites from Doll Beauty. So these are Gilly lashes, or Gilly, however you want to say it. These are really, really good for smaller eyes or more hooded eyes if you still want quite a fluffy full lash. My personal favourite on me are Jasmine's or well, Stephanie's are nice, they're super lightweight. Oh, Eva, Jasmine and Eva's are my favourite. Kit Essential, need these on me at all times. And recently as well, it's not as bougie, but I've been taking them all out of the packet and like piling them up on each other. Um, you just fit so many more in and also when you are on location like a wedding or something you don't have to worry about throwing like loads of packaging away because I'm trying to be like sustainable and eco-friendly <laughs> so if I can recycle it in my own time then I don't have to worry about waste I'm really trying, I really am Tatty Lashes another of my favourite brands just every style of Tatty Lashes is a babe they're amazing so obviously I love Mitchell's lashes, uh, both of them and the under ones for more dramatic looks. But on clients, I like TL23, I love TL4, TL3 and TL9. Like I said, I like to try loads of different lashes. Just keep them coming because I love trying new, new brands. Right, okay, this is... <laughs> I have no words. These, you need these in your life kits. You know, you <laughs> I feel so passionately about these that I can't even get across to you how much you need them. So these are the P. Louise and Mitchell collaboration paints. Acid rain paints. Firstly, I want to talk to you about this. And Mitchell talks about it all the time and a lot of makeup artists do, but I'm just going to say it as well. Blank canvas is a game changer. It is the only thing you will need ever again to cut a crease or freshen up an area of makeup. It's like a lifesaver. It's amazing. So if you want to brighten the inner corner back up, just buff a little bit of this on. And it's almost like a super dry, creamy formula, so it's really easy to use and blend and lay on other stuff on top of. The blank canvas is an essential must-have. These, not so essential, but they still are in my opinion. These two products come hand in hand and genuinely I would be really sad if I turned up to a job and I didn't have them on me because they are incredible. So these are the Inglot 77 Gel Liner and Inglot Duraline together, a match made in heaven. This is a gel liner and it is the blackest eyeliner on the market. It is so creamy but <laughs> if you just drop one tiny little droplet into there it lubricates it up beyond belief and it is so much easier to use. It glides on without diluting the colour. It's so good. I've, I use it in every single makeup post, so you've probably seen me tag it a lot because I love it. It's so good. And sometimes if I don't use this and I use a different eyeliner, I'll have to press black eyeshadow over the top to get it black. But this, you don't have to already now I'm going to talk about liquid illuminator just recently got the iconic London original I'll stop them in my hair the original drops highlighting drops and I really I can't help it I really 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 like those but I've not used them enough to include in this video so I'll keep going with them 
and maybe in my next favourites video they'll feature. But for now, this is good because it's super cheap, the LA Girl Luminous Glow Skin Illuminator in Sunlit. This is about my fourth one of these. It's three quid, I think. I'll leave it linked down below, I'm sure it's three quid, it might even be less. This is beautiful. It's almost like a mixture of a highlighter and a moisturiser. It's a bit like strobe cream. So nice from MAC if you've used that. I feel like I'm talking so fast I can't breathe properly. I'll keep buying this until they don't do it anymore. Another liquid illuminator. This is nice on top of the skin as like a finishing touch. This is the Wet n Wild Mega Glow. This is in the colour Gilded Glow. It's beautiful. And say you use like a powder and sometimes you put a liquid illuminator over the top and it goes patchy and you're like, Ugh! this it doesn't go patchy, it just blends over the top. So how I like to use this is just pop a little bit on the back of your hand and shear it out and then get your beauty blender, a clean one. Bounce it onto the little bit of sheared out product and then bounce it on. Oh my God. I need to do a video focused on just doing that because it's mesmerizing the shit right there. I feel like you're all here for the foundation, so do I keep you waiting and do them last? I think so. This palette here is an essential. <laughs> you need this palette in your life. If you're a makeup artist, if you just like messing around doing creative makeup, you need it. This is <laughs> dirty. <laughs> this is the Meron Gypsy Shrine palette. Now that is very dirty because I've used it three times today. It's amazing. But it's made of coconut oil, so it smells delicious. I'm a massive fan of anything coconut. It's got a white, it's got a black. You can mix this palette to make any colour. The teal in there is really good because it changes the tone. So not only can you make things really pastel, but you can make them quite bright as well. It's good as eyeliner, good on the lips. Uh, it lasts as well and it doesn't go bitty or patchy. Yeah, I use it for everything. And the main thing to remember is to achieve the right consistency. So not too runny because <laughs> it'll drip everywhere. And not too dry because it won't flow. It'll drag and you don't want anything to drag with makeup ever. This is the Meron Shrine palette so you can get this online at Shrine. So I'll leave it linked down below again because you need it and all my makeup artist friends that didn't have it now have it from my recommendation and you can do any makeup look. Creative, natural, whatever it is. Anyway I'm going to shut up because you get the gist. Another kit essential the, I personally can't live without, but this is because I've got an obsession with glitter. So this is the Peaches and Cream 50 Pigments box. And the amount of times that I've dropped this on a shoot and they've gone everywhere, it's beyond a joke. But this is amazing. So this has got two layers in it with pigments in it. A couple of my favourites while we're here are Hustle, so it's like a golden colour. Uh, Mermaids and Pixie, obviously, they're so nice. They're just like iridescent with like a reflex of colours. If you don't know, get to know because they're classics. Everyone needs them. Beautiful, just applied with a dry cotton bud on the inner corner. Festival vibes. Or just, you know, spices up your night out makeup a lot. So I love those for that. Uh, Hollywood's really nice. So that's the same. It's just like reflex of gold. A little bit like... MAC Reflex Gold, <laughs> that's where I got that from. Moonlight's really nice as an inner corner highlight. Wow, so this is Laura and Nick from Peaches. This, that's their go-to all over the body in summer. Spray your brush with like Fix Plus or something, just wet your brush and then put that on your body and it is like golden babe tan, it's amazing. Rattlesnakes, that's a really nice greeny colour, love green on the eyes. And Crush is like a peachy colour and that's nice as a blusher. I any peaches pigment, but they're my top faves. This is a really handy box for your kit because you get 50 in there. And I've tried many, many a way of storing peaches pigments in the past and this, in my opinion, is the best. I am a humongous fan of cream blushes and cream highlights actually, but more so cream blushes. So just got two here to quickly like skim over because I could do a whole video on cream blushes. Poppy Girl by Nude Sticks. I like slathered them because that's how passionately I feel about Nude Sticks. I'm obsessed with Nude Sticks. It is 
probably my favourite brand. <laughs> I've just said it. Love it so much. I love everything it stands for. Again, it's weird for me to say this because if you have come from Instagram, you probably think, oh, Lucy loves heavy makeup. I really like easy, pretty day-to-day -day makeup as well, which this brand is all about. So this is a cream blush and you literally go boom, 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 blend it in. Sometimes I'll draw a few little freckles over the top. Dewy skin, summer, hello, I'm here. It also comes with a little stubby brush on the end, which is cute if you're on the go, but I like using something fluffier than this stub. But it's good if you're on the go, like I said. And I've got six of these in different colours. Poppy Girl is my most used. It goes with like every vibe of makeup. I love it the next product i've got is new to me but i as soon as i put it on my face i was like sold sold this is glowgasm beauty light wand high blush blush hot air by charlotte tilbury so this is pink gasm so it actually looks more peachy when it's on it's like a mixture of a pink and a peach and what i like about it is it comes with like a little sponge applicator and you squeeze it and then I've got the contour one as well, which I like, but I think it's just a touch dark for now. Okay, shall we get on to foundations? Because I feel like that's why you're here and I've been keeping you waiting. While we're on the Charlotte Tilbury vibe, let me talk to you about this foundation. So this is Light Wonder, Youth Boosting Perfecting Skin Foundation SPF 15. So I have quite a few of these and... It's probably one of my favourite day-to-day -day foundations. So I have number three and number eight here. I like to mix them. They are super nice shades. I just think it's beautiful. It's so luminous and just like good skin, but gives you a nice amount of coverage at the same time. It's really nice. So if you're on the market for a high-end, luxury, beautiful, radiant foundation, look no further. The next foundation, which I'm wanting to talk to you about, is this. So this is the Nip and Fab foundation, and I feel like, especially with my OG clients, I feel like I'm associated with this foundation. I have literally got every single client I have ever had using this foundation, and they all love it, and they all still use it. I've done a video on this before, but I'm just wanting to repeat myself, because nobody knows about this foundation, or if they do, it's not raved about enough, this is what I'm trying to say. My advice would be to get number 40 and the white mixer, 00, zero right? If you're a similar colour to me, light it darker, whatever, Caucasian that likes to look brown, these are your best friend. They do do in between colours, but obviously, depending on if you've got fake tan on or if you've been on a holiday, you can make your own colour and it's so straightforward. I think a lot of people panic about mixing foundations, but it's so easy. You just put a little bit more, a little bit more of the other one in. What I like about this white one is I've had light mixes tone foundations before, and it's like changed the consistency. It's made it like a bit grey. <laughs> this just dilutes the colour to a lighter tone of its actual colour, so you can't go wrong. Even if you put loads of that and a bit of that, it wouldn't you wouldn't look dead. Do you know what I mean? They're always, always on offer for £5 each online. I'll start moving around. I'll leave it down below. Go crazy. Another brand of foundation, which I cannot live without now, is The Ordinary. So DCM, it is under that umbrella. And there's two foundations that they do. There's the Serum Foundation. And there is the coverage foundation. Also love. The difference is obviously the coverage one's going to give you more coverage, but at the same time it's not too full. It's probably more medium. The colours are beautiful. Powders, okay. So I'm gonna hold my hands up and say I've not always set my makeup. <laughs> it's really, really nice. The colours are beautiful and yeah, it's like £5.90 or something, but again, I'll leave it linked down below. The serum one, if you're not really into your medium full, full foundations, the serum one is for you. It's so lightweight and blendable, but it still gives you a nice amount of coverage. So this is my favourite over this, but I love them both. This was my favourite at first when I tried it. I was like, oh, this 
it's amazing. But now I'm much more into this. Don't know if it's because I'm getting older. I'm not saying I'm old, but I'm getting older. But also because I use so many other products on top, like my cream bronzer. This is nice because it's not going to look too cakey, if you get what I mean. But yeah, super nice. I'll leave them linked down below with a few different colour suggestions as well because I know that colour is the thing that gets everybody's back up. Like, we don't really know what we're getting online, do we? So I'll leave some suggestions. Last foundation and then I will move on. This is a new favourite of mine. So this is the Wet n Wild. So... Focus foundation in soft beige, the colour I've got. It's beautiful. It's so, so nice, this foundation. It's really good coverage. I like the little spatula that comes up as well. It's really good coverage, but it's not too thick. Like, honestly, I know you probably sat there thinking, Lucy, your foundation is so heavy right now. It's so orange, and you look so well so covered. But, <laughs> really, if it goes on like clay, I'm not interested. This goes on like butter. It's amazing. It's £5.99, I think. Why are all these foundations so affordable? It's the dog's barking. This is what I've been reaching for loads at the moment and I will continue to use this. I like it. So it says light, medium to warm. Cruelty free as well. And I'm super oily and I don't know how it didn't just melt and run off my face, but it didn't, so. Shout out to the foundation that I used to wear, whatever that was. But now, I am obsessed with powder because not only does it help it last forever, it also helps with a smoothing appearance to the skin. Hallelujah, praise the Lord, pennies finally dropped. I'm going to talk to you about my favourite at the moment. So this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Vanilla Loose Setting Powder. I've not got it here, but... I have had the By Terry Hydroclonic powder, I think it's called, for no joke about four or five years. Four or five, not 45. And I've recently reached back for it because a makeup artist that I really, really like used it on a client tutorial and her skin looked face tuned. So I was like, uh, I need to dust that off. I think it does cast like a really harsh white flashback situation. But when you tap all of it off the brush and just use it sparingly, it really blurs the skin out. So I'll leave that link down below. It is a bit expensive, but it's really, really good. But this is my all-time fave for now. Another powder. So this is a pressed one. So this is the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless in Classic Ivory. So this I got because Enya used it on me. Enya Doherty. She's an unbelievable makeup artist based in Leeds. She uses on me to set all over and again my skin just looks so smooth so that's why I picked this up and to be fair I have been using it a little bit more. I don't really like, if you do follow me on Instagram you'll know that, I mean, well actually you might not know, people assume that I like a full coverage makeup and yes this is full coverage what I've got on today but I love nothing more than a sun-kissed barely there, freckly, fresh makeup. <laughs> that's, that's an inside scoop. For me to set a foundation with a powder that gives payoff and like coverage is very rare, but if I was going on a night out, then I would set it with a powder like this. Day to day, I won't do it, only if I want a full coverage. Does that make sense? Also, I've just got the Charlotte Tilbury one, Flawless Finish. One, I think it's called. I've got that and I love it but it's too dark. I got number two. I was a bit optimistic. I am so pale. I've got foundation. I should stop speaking with my hands actually because I've got foundation all the way like down to here. Mm. Gonna get that in a light colour and keep number two for when I'm actually brown next year when we're all uh, back on holiday. Another product, oldie but a goodie which I can't live without and I just start using it again today actually. I've been off, I use it on clients all the time, but on myself, like I do really like a cream bronzer and normally I don't really set it because I'm just taking it off. <laughs> I'm legit just getting a picture for Instagram and then I take it off. <laughs> so I don't really need to give it any longevity, but if I did, I would use the MAC Minimalized Skin Finish and I like the colour Dark Tan. 
put it on now it's probably a bit orange but I don't mind that <laughs> and then I'll use medium dark on a lighter skinned client and also when I'm a little bit paler as well this is it so the main minerals super soft not too powdery for a powder really really nice love these I will continue buying these until the day I die love these powders from that went off on a little tangent then about cream contour I'll stop filling her one day so this if <laughs> If you, you if you follow me on Instagram, I won't say it again. I use this all the time. I've got so many people using this that I should have shares. <laughs> but it's absolutely beautiful. So this is the Me My Cream Contour. So I don't really use this side. I'll just use the brown. And it is the easiest thing to contour with ever. It's quite an orangey contour, which I like. <laughs> So you pop it on and then you've got playtime. So you know, if you get distracted by a puppy or something on the telly and you don't blend in straight away, it doesn't set, you've got playtime. But then you can leave it like that or you can just tap a little bit of the mineralize from MAC over the top to give it longevity. Yeah, I'll leave this link down below because a lot of people struggle to find it online for some reason, but I just get it directly for Instagram. Love these guys. This is a Leeds based brand so I'm all, all about that. So I've kind of got one last category and I was thinking about doing brushes as well but I think that I'll save that for another video. Lips is my next topic of conversation. Nip and Fab, again. So these three here are Nip and Fab liquid lipsticks. I use these on everyone. I love a brownie lip liner or even like a brownie liquid lipstick to line the lips and then I'll use these for like a really nice Holly Flynn inspired lip look. So these colours are Marshmallow, so the pinky one, Tarte, this one here, so it's like a super nude, and Candy as well, so that's like a mixture of those two together. These are always in the sale on Nip and Fab online, and I don't know why, because they're so nice. I feel like I really owe them homage to talk to about them because they're so good. The Jeffree Star liquid lipsticks are incredible so so nice obviously there's liquid lipsticks i've got a little bit of this one on now so this is birthday suit um gemini is gorgeous uh mannequin if you like a super nude what else uh celebrity skin i used that until there was no more in it that was so nice that's like a brownie one i'm loving birthday suits like a peachy peachy nude one more lip product if my client comes to me and they just want all the makeup doing but they're not going out till later. I'll just whack a gloss on, like a tasty hydrating gloss just to finish the look off. And my choice of that gloss is the Lime Crime Wet Cherry and this is in Juicy Cherry. So it's like super pink. Look how empty it is actually. Need to get a new one. So it's like super pink and super glittery but it doesn't really look that much when it's on, it's so, so nice. So, you know, if I wanna get a picture of my client and they're not fussed about the lip, I'll just put this on as like a treat, <laughs> as a snack, because it tastes so nice. But I wanna put some on now, actually. Oh my God, you see this? Oh my God, it tastes so good. I just found this on the floor, not on the floor of my makeup bag, and I need to give it a shout out because I've got three of these and I do pull it out a lot. It's the Heavy Metal what are you? Glitter Eyeliner in Midnight Cowboy from Urban Decay. This is so nice. So say you just do like a brown smoky eye on yourself and you want to give it a bit of pizzazz. Then you just get your finger and just pat that over the top. So beautiful. Absolutely love this. I've got all the colours. This is my most used Midnight Cowboy. I'm finishing it here by the way. <laughs> Don't worry. So another product from Urban Decay which is an essential is the all nighter setting spray everybody knows about this surely but i feel like i'm cheating if i don't spray you in setting spray at the end of your appointment and if i was going a night out because i'm so oily i swear by this so that's it i'm gonna leave that video there if you want to know anything else or recommendations of anything or if I've inspired you to buy any of these things, do let me know down below. Make sure you're following me on Instagram, please. I'm trying to split my content up now. I'm doing more IGTV videos on there, but like not speaking, quick, creative, fun looks. 
I hope. And then on YouTube I'm doing the sit down, chatty, in depth stuff. I don't know why it's taken me so long to get my head around that's the way I want to do stuff, but it is. So if you're here for it and you want to see more, then please let me know. Subscribe, like this video, blah, blah, blah. You know the score. Please just support me. I'm trying. I'm really, really trying here. That's all from me for today, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.